to the trap slash black markets. Appreciate it, baby. Man, we got some, some representatives from one of my favorite places on earth. Yeah. And I don't mean Disneyland, Disney World. I am talking about none other than Magic City. Hey! My man. Bro, what's man. up? Man, ain't too much, baby. How you? What's been taking you so long to get over here and bring me my updated VIP pass? Man, we just been waiting for you to pull up. OK. What's, 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 I was waiting on you to pull up with my passes first. Oh, they had the dope. You know, every year I'm supposed to get a new pass. When you pull up, they already know who you is. All right, baby. 20 bands waiting. Word. Yeah. Shit. You just gotta slide the card, though. Yeah. 20. 20. That's life for you. It's, uh, man. This is a black market. Yeah, I know, but that's heavy handed, man. That's, that's a lot. I'm not a rapper, I'm a comedian. 16. Nah, bro, I'm more like. Two. I seen DC do like 14. You got, you know, Bruh, one time. He in that's, a movie with Monique now. Yeah, that's pre that's pre I'm in the black market. Yeah. It's levels. Don't do me like that. <laughs> Don't do nah. me like that. Nah, bro. Every time I go to Magic City, I spend way more money than I ever planned to. Bro, I pop in that bitch just for some wings. You trying to go after this? Being there four hours. You trying to go after this? We might as well. I mean, we're working. There ain't no better place to relax. Yeah. They call that's the streets calling right there. We might as well go. What's the day? Her name said Magic? Nah, nah, nah. That's... Stephanie from Magic? Hell no. Nah. What oh. are you doing? I, that's what I thought it Who said. Who is Stephanie? You know their real name. That's what I thought it said. I don't said. be knowing their real name. I like to keep it mysterious. Yeah. Yeah. Stage name on. I mean, All I mean, up in Cumberland Mall. Sparkle! I'll be having to see the paperwork. Word. Yeah. Man, what's been going on down there, man? Man, ain't too much. We got this Miss Magic City campaign, man. What you mean? Looking for the best bartender, bottle girl, merchandise girl, and dancer in the country. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? In the country? In the country. So they don't got to already be at Magic City? Nah, we, we, it's this, this new talent. This new talent. We're this looking worldwide. for the best in the country. Giving away 5000 per piece, 20 k all together. Ooh. I like how that sound. So the, so the best bottle girl, how do you prove you the best? What you got to do is, you, well, in the beginning, there's some videos you got to submit. OK. Pay the little $50 application fee. OK. Then you're going to show us your little twerk or your dance or how you, you know, move to your music. Right. From there, you're also going to show me your hustle video. You're going to tell me how you can expand our brand, take the merch, take the wings. Tell us how good our brand is and how you can make it better. OK. And then, you know, the last one is just the interview. Just tell me about yourself. Submit the videos, and then from there, we're going to take the top seven, bring them to the A. We're going to shoot a little week show to figure out, do some contests, figure out who the best, and crown the next Miss Magic City, or the first Miss Magic City. Oh, the first Miss Magic City. I think y'all need my input on that. You want to help me judge? I probably can help you find. Yeah. Yeah. Stephanie? Um, maybe. Oh, yeah. I don't know what category she want to be in. Y'all yeah. going to do the best dancer? Dancer. So, you know, the dance is a wide range. We can go tricks. We can go thick. We can go skinny or petite. We can go, you know, middle. You know, it's just. I think you should have them twerk to some gospel music. I don't know if it got enough bass in it. Enough. It do. But it's, it's got enough rhythms in there where it's like she could catch any one of them. That's, that's what a like talent is. Like Kirk is. Franklin? Just saying, it ain't necessarily got to be limited to Kirk Franklin. Yeah. What song would you choose? I would probably choose something like, uh, uh, 
like Beethoven Symphony Five or something. Oh yeah, you a little, you a little different. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they gonna be able to catch that. A little Moonlight Sonata or something. Yeah. Yeah. Not I like, no, I not like no little shit. baby. No, nah, not no little because that's so she could do that without even thinking. Yeah. I want a challenge upstairs. Well, I mean, she don't necessarily gotta think on this one. I want her to give us. The, we want her to give us the best of what she got. I know. You know what I mean? I want. I want I you. You know. You gotta think about it. Laser focus. You got people who have made twenty thousand dollars a week, fifteen thousand in a day. You know what I'm saying? Like when you come spend that bag, you gonna spend the night. I want to make sure I got the best of the best presented for you. That ain't gonna even gonna interest me. What's going on? I'm telling you what. When I'm in there at the strip club and I'm looking for a dancer, it really just depends on the mood. So, so, so tell on me about mood, some of the dancers. I always like them little weird ass dancers. The one with the little strong shoulders and shit. So you like a pole girl? So yeah. The ones you that know be swinging. The ones that be having abs and shit. Like, girl, what you doing with all these little muscles? But she look. Yeah. Yeah. She be, she, do she, the she, be the she be doing push-ups on you? Yeah, you know the okay. one. Yeah, them. The uh, crazy ones. So how you picking? Um, first I'm going in there. I'm walking around. I just want to see who at work right now. Because uh, I know, that, like, depending on what time you got there, these girls might be about to get off. OK. And then you don't want the fine strippers to walk upstairs and see you dancing with what that ain't fine. Yeah. And then you be like, hey, swap it out. She be like, nah, go ahead. So how many dances you let her give you? It depends on what's going on. Yeah. Song. Uh, like, if the DJ keeps stopping and interrupting, it's going to throw the vibe off. No, no, but just, just magic. We won't, won't do all that. I know, but I'm just, I'm just speaking in general. Though. Yeah, we ain't talking about the Mississippi clubs. Yeah, I ain't, ain't, ain't no gun. Uh, don't do it Mississippi ain't like that. Ain't, ain't, ain't no clubs. Ain't no strip clubs in Mississippi. We got our own freaks. <laughs> you got to be chosen. Ain't no... Everybody don't get a fair shake in Mississippi. All right. Yeah. Sorry. You get it? A fair shake? I get it. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I'm good at this. Practice. <laughs> <laughs> so, nah, but bro, you know Magic City, that's on most grown men's bucket list. Places to go. It should be. Things to see. Yeah. And you saying y'all about to do a whole rebrand and find the first Miss Magic City. What's been going on down there since the pandemic? Pandemic went crazy. Once, yeah. once ATL opened back up, I mean, you know, the thing about Magic City that makes it so I don't want to say so different because I haven't experienced every club in the city. Why not? It's just a be at magic. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard. We we, we never know who's gonna pull up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not like a it's not a club that's promoting celebrities that are being booked or paid to come. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Then the club is so small that when you a boss and, and you pay that hundred to park and that hundred to get in and and you politic and it's like everybody family. You know what I'm saying? It's none of that. Super, super hood vibe, none of that street vibe. It's one of them places where you can get some business done. Yeah. You can have a good time. Get something to eat. You ain't going, you definitely got to get the food. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your business not going online. So since pandemic, it's just been crazy. The other night on Monday, we had a gunner came, pulled up. Um, a couple other people pulled up. Who else pulled up, though? And Ali Chopper. Yeah. Um, it's just one of those things, like, depending on the day, um, on a Wednesday, you might catch Neil or Usher sliding through that thing. Yeah. Um, whoever basketball team or football team is clown, they sliding through. It's just one of those places that you just got to experience, you know what I'm saying? You got to experience it. Yeah. And the food is, 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 is damn so sure amazing. You know what I mean? Bro, the food line be so damn long. That's why you got to be there for a while. You got to. You got to spend a little money while you there. I, I'm, it'd be crazy how they remember them orders, too, because you you would pop back up and be like, hey, y'all forgot about me. Be like, no, bro, your shit right here. Yeah, yeah, nah. They do this every night. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just been one of those things, but um, it's been a great, great vibe. And with this new campaign, it has been bringing so much new energy. Would you believe me if I told you this alternative asset was a contemporary art? Although it's surprising, using art to safeguard wealth isn't a new idea. The ultra wealthy have been doing it for centuries and now you can too with masterworks.io. It's the new tech platform valued at over $1 billion that lets you invest in paintings by Warhol, Picasso, and Banksy like stocks. You don't need hundreds of millions to add art to your portfolio anymore. You just need a solid internet connection to get started. 
demand for Masterworks is as high as it's ever been, but my listeners can get priority access to their offerings. By going to masterworks.art slash black market, that's masterworks.art slash black market, see important disclosures at masterworks.o slash disclaimer. You know what I'm saying? Man, what do you need to tell the fellas who ain't been to Magic City before watching this shit worldwide, bro? You gotta get the experience. You know what I'm saying? It's something for everybody in there. If you into throwing money in the air, we the place. If you wanna find a nice woman, this a place. That's um, the thing people be overlooking. It's a lot of women that just be yeah. in there. That's it. And then we ain't talking about just dancers. Exactly. It's, 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 it's a club. But also, even with our dancers, like our background of our dancers, we got people who used to work in the government. We got girls who went to college, who have degrees. We have girls who, like, it's not one of those places where you just get in the, uh, I'm broke, I want to dance type of thing. These are higher echelon, upper echelon type of women. Um, they come from different backgrounds. They come from all over the world, literally all over the world, we recruit. So it's just one of those things, like when you come to the A, you gotta come past magic. Like it's. These Damn, not bro, you make me it? feel guilty that I ain't been there in so long. You should. Damn. I had so many good nights in Magic. When are we going back? Oof. So what, was your best, what was your best night in Magic? <laughs> Man, I think probably one of the most fun nights that I had in Magic hosting the amateur night. Uh, when they used to do that. How long ago was that? Shit, that's been a minute. Uh, you know how long ago that's been since they had the amateur night. Yeah, they ain't amateurs no more. Nah. Uh, that was always dope. You know, just falling in magic after the comedy show, like the whole comedy club go to magic and shit yeah. like that. It's just, I miss it. Uh, we, we open. I know. Six days a week. I know, man. I'm gonna make it through there. Sooner than later. It's we time to go back. That's what, I mean, you gotta help me figure out who gonna be the next Miss Magic City. I mean, I'm all in. You know, I'm the, all in. I, I want to get be a part of this media. Yeah. Because you know, grown men, we gotta have something to watch. Hey, we got, we get hella videos. You know, the craziest part is when you got a girl who, I don't know, they they from Kansas and they hear one of the dancers' story like, all right, my first week I made 10k, then on my birthday I made 30,000. Like, shit, I gotta get in there. You know what I'm saying? So the way people are applying and looking at it, you know what I mean? And back in the day, I think it was looked at a little differently. Yeah. But understanding, like, this is a female's hustle, and it's a legal hustle. Right. You know what I'm saying? Magic City, one of the things is that keeps us standing is we don't have the boom boom room. You don't we don't have the champagne room. Uh -uh. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's for the ladies. It's a safe environment for them to come, make their money, and do whatever they want to do next in life. Right. It's a stepping stone. And it's not just about dancing, the bartenders, the bottle girls, or our waitresses. The merchandise girls, the girls who sell the clothes, the, the merch. The, yeah. What's uh, up with the merch? What are we doing? Oh, we got you, baby. We actually about to do it. Well, you know, we about to do the collab. I was just wanting you to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I was just wanting you to tell everybody. <laughs> yeah, I was going to let you tell them. You know, we working on something from Magic City. Got some hoodies with the titties that. <laughs> you feel me? Got them sweatpants. They made that booty lip all oh, that type of shit. Come for the women and the like. No, it's just bullshit. We definitely working on some dope nah. shit, though, man. Just to put on, you know. And, and we want to make Atlanta the brand. You get yeah. what I'm saying? It's yeah. like we all here in the city. We want all the shit that come out of Atlanta to be dope. No, nah, it's for real. That's what the bigger brand is, man. And we want everybody to be a part of that. That's why we had to make sure we reached out and get everybody in the black market, or at least in the trap, or in the, you know, just where we can all exchange information. For sure. Who you brought with you today? I see a few Magic City hoodies over there, man. You, you bring none of the ladies over there? They see they want to hop on camera. Are they shy? Come on, man. Ooh. You shy? Big ass earring. <laughs> you got a mic? Let them mic you up. Who you got over here? That's Zaria. She runs the merchandise box. Oh, word? Yeah. Let's see what she talking about. Let's see what she on. Look, I know that this would be a great opportunity to tell you, but I don't have to tell you to go to Magic City. You know what the hell goes on over there. Yeah, if you ain't been, you gotta go. This is one of those things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it, it has to happen. Now, Zara, also, she's gonna be able to tell you a lot about that collab with the clothes. That's what I really wanna hear about. 
Uh, Try to see what type of work I need to be putting in right now. Yeah. Because we're definitely going to need something to, you know, when the, when you do finally find Miss Magic City, yeah. she's going to need something to wear. <laughs> you going to design the female line? Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm good, good. Welcome to the black market. Oh, well, thank you. How's everything over there at the, at the merch box? No, everything is wonderful. The brand is going to sell itself, of course. Of course. Oh, That's wow. what I'm just telling him. He don't listen to him. But with y'all, it's a, it's, a, it's a bigger push, for sure. Yeah. Because y'all represent Atlanta in a, as a whole. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you going to get up and the truth? <laughs> Well, we represent Atlanta. We're a staple of Atlanta, for sure. Most definitely. A landmark, for sure. I love the Throwback Thursday pictures of Magic City. Yeah. You ever see them pop up on the ground? For sure. Oh, those are the best. We need to do back, a documentary. Back in the day. Well, we try and figure that out, you know. We, we, you talking to the man. We, we, we need some help, you know what I'm saying? It's the time, and it's a time thing. We got to hurry up to do it. Y'all be taking a while, you know what I'm saying? It's us? <laughs> Say less. Mm -hmm. No, nah, but we definitely can can do some cool shit, man, and put it on for the city. I mean, we, you know, we just launched our streaming app. Yeah. We got to show some okay. so We definitely, you know, what show, what shows y'all got on the app? Oh, uh, we got a couple shows, man. We got Project Carlos. That's uh, mm -hmm. me and the old school. Yeah, yeah. We got some exclusive shows. Um, from all of us, me, Chico, DC, Clayton, everybody's gonna be dropping a little stand-up comedy on there. Yeah. We got uh, our live shows on there. Okay. We have some things from the vault that haven't been seen, and we got a lot of exclusive, you know, behind-the-scenes footage. Yeah. And you get early access to the shows. We got uh, links to tickets, merch, everything that's 85 South is streaming through the app, bro. So can we get something on that? On that? Yeah. We little... definitely want to do something. We was going to talk to y'all about doing this show that I got. It's, uh, it's, it's inspired by the Japanese game show type. Okay. But we're going to, it's just going to be like, let me, let me draw this for you. Could talk to so me. it's just like, it's a man sitting in a box, and all you can see is from the neck up. Okay. And then a lady on this side, and a lady on this side, and they just slapping him with titties. With titties. Whatever side do the most damage to his face, that's who won. What size the titties gotta be? They don't, it's not necessarily about the size of the titty, it's about the damage that the titty can do. And the thing about it is, when hmm. the titty hit the face, yeah, yeah. slow motion. Nipple and everything. So is in the bra or is it it's out? It's totally up to the competitors. Okay. <laughs> but I feel like if you're gonna use your raw titty, we gotta line you up with somebody with a raw titty. Okay. But they, these just ideas, you know, we just can, we can build these out how we need to. But, but I think that'll go. It's a titty thing. Okay, what's it called? In your face. My name. Mm. <laughs> I like that. You fucking with it? Would you be on there? I wouldn't be on there. I feel like she she wouldn't be able to do it. Like, yeah, she I came from two parent household and said she a good girl. Gotcha. Yeah, we want some savages. Right. We can't do magic. Got good girls. I know, but I'm saying is like that's the concept of the show. But you know what? For the ones who don't win this Miss Magic City, I can plug them in for that. What you think? Cause I'm all about tapping into these untapped markets. You yeah. feel? Right. There's so much shit we could do. I'm with that. They don't even require nudity. Some people just want to eat. You know what's the biggest shit on the internet? Yeah. Watching motherfuckers eat. Mukbangs. They ain't got to say shit. <laughs> eat. Just eat. Nigga, I've been doing that so long. That's what I'm saying. The show is you, three badass chicks, and y'all just eating. Ain't nobody saying shit. I could do that. Mic'd up, though. They want to hear all the crunches, don't wipe nothing. <laughs> Raw edit. <laughs> Sloppy like that. You laughing, but we don't fuck around here at 100 million. Let's do it at Magic City. Right at the bar. Bruh, how about we have a fucking 100 wing challenge? Where it would just be like, too. we could put two two dancers on the team yeah. and a dude, and then there's two dancers and a dude on this team. Whoever eat the 100 wings first, win $1,000. Lemon pepper stuffers. That's easy. Win how much money? 1000 we're doing this shit every week. You gonna put the money up? I mean, I got my, I mean, every team, you can make your own wager. She win at least a thousand. 
That's not part of the thousand you about to throw at the club tonight, though, right? Mm-mm. Okay. Just gotta make sure we can keep that money. Mm -hmm. I like that. We can do that. I like that idea. Yeah. You got any ideas you want to throw out there? I got this one show that I think gonna really hit with black women, though. What show it's just is Just women getting their hair done. Like a like a hair salon show? Yep. Or like not the, It's not even the hair salon Just drama. a tutorial. It's, it's just like she walk in, hair ain't done. Mm. Spirit low, you can see it all in her face. She, she don't know where she going. She don't feel bad or nothing. Get her hair done. Brand new person. New person. I, hey, no lie. I like that idea. I, that's you. something that I probably would watch. I know. I know, and then we're gonna be throwing little teasers on the Stay tuned, you gotta see what she do to up dude. You're like, ah, oh, I gotta see it. <laughs> that's all I do is just come up with shows, bro. Do like that? Hell yeah. Hey, yeah, we need to get done. Hell yeah. I was thinking of, uh, I was thinking of having like, you know how they got little women of Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of doing tall women of Atlanta. How tall? <laughs> Stupid tall. <laughs> At least six feet. But six feet is the minimum. Yeah. Right. I'm looking for women who like six, 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 seven. What you gonna do with them? I, whatever the fuck. <laughs> what they do with the little women? <laughs> who you gonna take them? Well, <laughs> everywhere I take them, I'm gonna make sure that it's too small for them. <laughs> North on house. purpose. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. This is, this, this is just how I be, you know, spitballing that shit. They got little women. I wanna see what the tall, tall women, women do. do. What, what race is the tall women gonna be? Where you gonna get them from? Black. They from the hood? How you gonna find these marketer people? It's easy. They just need to know that you're looking for them. How you think they found the little ones? Right, right. No, for real. <laughs> it's, a a chick, it's a chick who's six six with no shoes on. Like, fuck! <laughs> Ooh, I'm about to get up out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got that one. I ain't seen no tall ones. It ain't a lot of tall ones, but like when you see one, they stick with you. Mm. I ain't gonna waste all my good ideas on y'all because y'all not even in the media industry like that. Yeah, I'm just saying. But just know it's a wellspring of this. I do this shit all day. I just come up with shows. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 I need you to tell us which one's gonna win this this contest. That's easy. Yeah. I can I can spot a winner. Can we bring like the top ones back here? Let's not even start with the top. <laughs> Let's not start with the top. That's what I'm saying. Let's not start with the top. Let's, 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 let's pick top. randoms. Just the randoms. Randoms. Who we believe in. Okay. Right. I ain't seen you do nothing, but I, it's something about you. That ass. Yeah. We could yeah. do a pre-show. Intuition. Uh -huh. Then see how they do. Like, oh man, yours picture, you got 13 plays. You, you pick losers. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I bring them through. We yeah. just do the categories, do it like the uh the basketball tournament, like the NCAA finals. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The bottle girls, the bottle, yeah, the bracket. Ooh, I would love for somebody to come back and win that shit. She'd be ranked number 15 or something. Just we can do it. If you go, if you gonna go through it, I will. Yeah, we can do it. If you want me to do the pre-screening interviews, I, I don't have no problem with that. Yeah. We gonna send y'all about what? About, about 300 something videos that we gotta go through now. Yeah. Yeah. Minimum. The dance videos be a little off sometimes, though. That's the ones I'm picking. The, the off ones? Yeah. Uh -huh. Them the ones I want to bring first. Yeah. We got one. Then we, because we got to point out, like, hey, you know this was off, right? <laughs> we got one. We got one, but she. I don't even want to say it because I ain't, we ain't discriminating. Yeah, because she gonna, yeah, she gonna feel but like she, she actually, singled out. She actually done did good, and then the first time we seen her, we ain't think she was gonna go this far, but. She climbing up the ladder though, but she really, 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 really bow-legged. For real? She oh. listen? I don't know. I mean, she talk. I don't know if she listen. I ain't met her yet. The video. She real bow-legged? She's real bow-legged. There's something about her. I, both, read, I ain't even seen her. And I'm it's like, both the legs. Parentheses. I know that ass fat then, because you ain't never seen no bow-legged girl with no flat ass. It was cold. It's cool. It's cool. And she just wobble a little bit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And it might be another reason why she wobble. Mm. Hard to walk when you got a whole bunch of good 
<laughs> Welcome back to the black market. <laughs> see? See? <laughs> yeah, baby. Bro, I'm not even, what's the social media? Is it just at Magic City? Magic City Atlanta. Magic City Atlanta. And then you got another one. Yeah, Magic City underscore lifestyle. Magic City life. What's that like? The lifestyle of Magic City just showing you it's more than the club. It's more to it than just strippers, dancers, food. You know, it's a legacy, history. We actually tell stories with our brand. So that's what Magic City Lifestyle page is. Yeah. She you apply at lifestylemagicity.com for Miss Magic City. You can apply to be in the exclusive groups? Well, you can actually sign up for our newsletters on the same website as well at lifestylemagicity.com. But for Miss Magic City, you can sign up at lifestylemagicity.com too. Okay. And it's in the bio of both Instagrams. Where can they grab the merch? Online or at Magic City. Website again, lifestylemagicity.com. Magic City, we have a store in the back of the parking lot. It's called our merch shop. Come That's what you do? Yep. Okay, bet. <laughs> they gave you a merch shop back there in the hundred dollar parking spots. Yep, and we got hundred dollar stuff back there too. What's back mm. there? Huh. Pressure. It's a pressure. We got everything for anybody. Women, the sodas. Male. Oh, you got exotic snacks. Like what? Canadian sodas, Canadian candy, okay. European candy. Asian chips. Asian chips. Goodies. Good. My Asian partner gonna, gonna come check y'all out. And we close at 3 a.m. For real? Yep. And they got hair. And we got hair. Y'all selling hair out of there? And lashes. I was just about to ask you. You already know we got the hair. You got, we don't got waist trainers yet. That's what we gonna take it to. Yeah. Take it to right there. Only hair still open at 3 in the morning. <laughs> now that's a selling point. Mm -hmm. More people, More people should definitely know about that. Breaking news, ladies. Magic City got a hair store that's open till 3 o'clock in the morning. You can get lashes, all that. Y'all sell the edge glue? Edge glue. <laughs> edge glue for the edge, edge the lace front glue. Y'all got that up there, too? We working on it. OK. But not yet. Flat irons? Not yet. The store ain't that big, though. <laughs> it ain't that big. <laughs> it's only like two, three parking spots. Uh -oh. <laughs> we might have to add another level. Mm -hmm. We got a few ideas. <laughs> Trap it out, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. You gotta pull up. Bro, you keep telling me that, like, that's that's easy, <laughs> bitch. I just ain't Ooh. seen you. I definitely ain't seen you. You ain't seen no nigga? I haven't seen you. I ain't been since pre-pandemic. I've been in the house. It's never been like two years. But to this trap, Bojangles, <laughs> chicken sandwiches hit different. And uh, the bank. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And that's it. And, that's, that's, and you know wherever the show at. Mm -hmm. My list real short, though. I got you. We, gonna... we got any questions from the floor? I know there's a lot of Magic City fans out here amongst the staff. Don't get shot now. Where the Asian chips See? The Asian chips? Asian chips or? The chips. The chips. Okay. We have different kinds. It depends on, we have like a chai chip, <laughs> a chai lime. You got fish chips? Yeah, we actually do. The fried crab, the fried crab chips, they actually sell first. They like a fried crab. It's like a Lay's, but it's like a teal colored bag. Yeah, he know that. He grew up on that yeah, shit. Yeah, those actually sell out first. We got some Doritos, roasted chicken. You still got the shrimp? Roasted food. chili Doritos? No, roasted chicken. Roasted chicken? Roasted chicken. When the hell y'all getting this shit from? Roasted chicken. Oh, it's exotic. That, that shit sound good as a motherfucker. We have Oreo wafer rolls with strawberry filling. Skittle cookies, Twix cookies. Skittle you was cookies. holding out. You ain't say all this shit earlier. Skittle what cookies. What you say? <laughs> yeah, double chocolate m m cookies. What else we had? They loaded. We got a whole bunch of them. Skittles. The oh, yeah, the Skittles. unshelled Skittles. We got the chewy Skittles. And it's like a Skittles. Japanese um I had some freeze-dried Skittles that hit different, too. Who? Freeze-dried, like the astronaut seat. Freeze-dried? Yeah, look into that. It put look you on game. Look into that. Never heard of them. I'm telling you, look into that. Yeah. What's the address again? 241 Forsyth, Forsyth Street. Right across from the Greyhound station. Yeah. Cat, what is it? So if somebody's coming from out of town, coming to Atlanta to visit, tell them why 
Yeah. Hey. Ironically, I think when um the last mayor was running, they had did a poll and out of it was Coca-Cola and Magic City, the two top tour spots in Atlanta. Then the Martin Luther King Center was number three. But I mean, you got to. It's just it's it's the the baddest women in the world. Some of your top bosses in the world. So if you getting money, you want to be around people who get money. If you're not getting money, you want to be around people who get money. You always want to be around beautiful women, and you want to be around some banging ass food. Hell yeah. What I thought you was about to say they about to make uh, Magic City a voting poll. <laughs> you said what? They should make it so you can vote at Magic City. No bullshit. We didn't do the stripper bowl. That was, uh, that was QC. They talked to us about it, but as big as they were making it, we couldn't host it at Magic. It's not big enough. I think they actually did it at like Gold Room or something. Yeah, I'm saying. Try to can't. The city permits we grind five and in. So the moment you hit a wall, take something down, you lose it. So that's why I just it's going to be historic at that size. Last one, last one. After Luke Wills came through doing playoffs, you know that. Yeah. You know what's crazy in the last. Four or five years, the crowd has somewhat changed. It's not, I, I can't just always credit it to the Lou Will, but I mean, it's definitely began to become more diverse, to say the least. Especially on your Thursday nights, your Saturday nights, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely people from everywhere. If it's a game in town, the fans, out of country, a lot of, like last, last month, a lot of people from Canada that's kept pulling up, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's not one of those spots you're gonna get everybody black. It's definitely a diverse crowd. Let me ask there. you this, you a lady there, you work at Magic City, right? Mm -hmm. What would you say to all the ladies who don't want their men going to Magic City? Who don't want their man to go to Magic City? Come with them. It's, it's an experience for everybody. It's not necessarily gonna be like, oh, I don't want my man to go here because for whatever reason, it's a strip club. Like, it's, it's more to it than that. It's a lot of customers I've met who didn't even know it was a strip club, and they be like, I literally came here because it said Magic City Kitchen. When my wife finds out that I came to a strip club, she, like, she's gonna be upset. But I, I literally didn't know. Like, you should've so, brought us some wings. That's what I tell people, if y'all bring back something, it'll be a little bit more, because it's nothing you can't, like, every time you bring something back from Magic, it's gonna be, it's gonna be something that's worth it. Or some sure. of them fish chips or something. Plus the the acrobatics, the 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 people flying in the air, the girls stepping on each other in the air. The, it's just it's just. What's the team called? They do the tricks. It's a lot of. Them. It's a lot of different ones. Oh okay. Yeah, it's more than just. So when you think strip club, you might think like, ah, oh, my my husband in the corner getting a lap dance or some little freak. There's nothing like that in Magic. You know what I'm saying? It's right. the entertainment. It's the it's the erotic circus soleil. It's the appreciation for the acrobats. It's the you be up thinking about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> he be laying this shit out. It's this titty circus on like titties out. No. Nah, I mean it's, it's just the it's the whole it's the whole vibe of the appreciation of seeing somebody contort their body in a way that you couldn't even think it could happen. And then start twerking. That's or do a backflip in heels. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's that level of professionalism that keeps Magic City at this top tier. Hey, the snack pack still down there? Nah, they kind of retired. It's been they a retired? long ass time since you been. <laughs> you guys to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, y'all remember they, the snack pack? They, they can't, can't last, last forever. forever. Yes. Yeah, you talking about 2010. <laughs> right. Wait a minute, that was comedy club? Don't <laughs> oh, bring your grown ass down there with a bag. Oh, <laughs> No. Nah. <laughs> oh, I was going, to, I was going to when they had the no. snack pack too. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. like Rosa Parks still come? Yeah. Uh, 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 it's the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, look, man, I ain't gonna keep y'all here all night because, you know, I told you, it's one of my favorite places. Hopefully, we got enough information to last until we do this merch collab. Merch coming soon. I'm Very saying sad. this this should hold them over until we finish what we're doing, right? For sure. All right, then. With that being said, shit, just let me know.